Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. If you are not aware by now, we just released our new course called the Ultimate EKG Breakdown. It is meant to break down the EKG so you understand why you see what you see on the EKG, not to actually give you a breakdown, at least I hope not. We've already sold out, but there should be another shipment of books on their way now. Anyways, I wanted to give you an idea of the course and what it includes, but by way of context, I thought I would give you a brief history of my interest in ECGs leading to these current projects because I get this quite um, asked quite a bit whenever I'm doing a conference or seminar, so I thought I'd bring you that are online kind of an idea of why where that all came about. So as a child, I was naturally interested in cardiology because my father's actually an interventional cardiologist. In middle school, I would often go with him to work and follow him around around the cath lab, and of course, my go-to annual Halloween costume was doctor. With that background, medical school was somewhat inevitable, and when I started medical school, I had my eye on cardiology right from the start. The first two years kept me plenty busy just staying above board, but by the third year, it provided my first real exposure to EKGs. Now, I remember coming home one afternoon from my first day of my internal medicine rotation to a stack of EKGs which my father had left for me to interpret on the table. I had absolutely no idea where to even start. I also knew that I was required to pass an EKG exam at the end of that rotation, so I decided it was time to start getting things figured out. As I prepared for the exam, I discovered a huge gap in the available EKG education resources. The only available learning options available were those that were far too basic, like Dubin's or Thaler's, probably many of those that you've either read or have tried, or they were far too advanced. Okay, I found myself reading Marriott's or Choose, those big textbooks. I ultimately used several different EKG books and resources to prepare, but it felt like an inefficient use of my time, and this was a frustrating process for both me and my friends that were trying to prepare. Now, a year later, I decided to help fill that gap as a side project during my fourth year of medical school. I developed a rapid review ECG course for the third year medical students where we you know, help them to prepare for that EKG exam that I was, I took the previous year. And I asked the faculty cardiologist to kind of review the course and make sure it was up to speed and accurate. Okay, and I taught this to several groups and ultimately it seemed like they enjoyed the course. Now, more third year students started requesting that I teach this course, but I had plans to be away. So I started building these videos and all of a sudden I'd post them on YouTube, hopefully, hoping that those students back where I was in New York would kind of uh, use them to prepare for their exam. Okay, and this was that earliest iteration of the EKG Guy brand, and it snowballed there from there pretty quickly. I started getting a lot of positive feedback, first from the students that I taught, and then from people I didn't even know from all around the world that were watching the online videos. They would thank me for the videos and started leaving requests for specific topics. I tried to keep up with all those requests and eventually ended up with hundreds of videos. I created a Facebook group, which rapidly grew to now a community of over 300,000 in just the last year and a half. And I created an EKG website called EKG.MD with the hope that I could make it a one-stop EKG destination for all EKG learning needs. Eventually, I decided to bring the whole project full circle, and I created a comprehensive, organized, progressively advanced EKG course that offered what I had missed during my third year of medical school, an efficient way to learn about EKGs that starts at the beginner level and takes students all the way to the advanced level or as far as they'd like to go. And this is the course that was just released called Ultimate EKG Breakdown. This course is developed to take someone with little to no knowledge of the heart to a level sufficient to pass the cardiology. ECG boards, okay, so there's different parts on the cardiologist's um, board exam, and one of them is the ECG. You may ask, how do I know that that's sufficient? Well, in fact, I'm actually developing the curriculum for that ECG board review course here for the fellows, so hopefully that's some sort of evidence, okay? Now, anyways, I continue to teach these weekly sessions and conferences for my colleagues here at Mayo Clinic, and after hosting dozens of ECG sessions for nurses, ECG techs, the paramedics, the residents, the medical and nursing students, and other medical providers, one thing remained clear. Medical professionals want better ECG learning options. ECG interpretation skills are critical for patient care, yet many providers feel very unequipped to achieve even basic ECG professionals. 
proficiency. In fact, when I hosted an ECG education seminar, participants dramatically improved their ECG comprehensive effort just five hours of learning. Proving even a small amount of time dedicated to learning ECGs can make a huge difference. This resource helps medical providers improve their ability to make real-time medical decisions that will improve the quality and efficiency of patient care. So to conclude, the ultimate EKG breakdown is designed to fill a universal gap in currently available options. Existing ECG resources tend to be either extremely basic or very advanced with minimal clinical applicability. The ultimate EKG breakdown is designed to provide the most efficient way to learn about ECGs starting from the beginner level and gradually progressing to an advanced interpreter level, focusing on clinically relevant and um, things that will make this learning process very efficient. My goal is to make the most of your time to give you practical educational tools and to have a little fun while we're at it. More importantly, my goal is to provide every possible resource to help learners understand ECGs in the most efficient, helpful, and comprehensive way in order to ultimately deliver better patient care. Okay, and the ultimate EKG breakdown, this course is a portion of that. All right, so now to give you a quick overview of what this course includes, I'm going to re reference you to this link that you'll see here on the page, okay, that www.ekg.md slash product slash ultimate dash EKG dash breakdown. So I would type that in and you can kind of refer to that because as I go through some of these things, it may you may find that helpful okay you'll find course contents okay all the lectures uh, what the sample book looks like and actually a sample video on atrial fibrillation okay you may even want to pause the video at this point and try to open up that page so you can go back and forth okay so again this course was developed to make ecg learning simple efficient and fun Okay. Each topic within this book is covered on a single page, and then each page is accompanied by a lecture. So pretty much every page in the book has a lecture. Okay. The lectures are progressively organized, and they begin at the very basic level. The earlier lessons will serve as the foundation as you progress through the course to more advanced topics. We've even included congenital heart disease in uh, this course, okay. something that you won't find in any other beginner or advanced course like this. Okay. Now in the table of contents, which you can access on the link if you haven't yet, you'll find a number next to each topic, and that topic refers to the topic's corresponding page within the book, as well as its accompanying lecture number. This makes it easy to transition between the book and the lectures and so forth. You will also notice a star next to some of those topics. And these are high yield topics and can be helpful to reference for those that, of you that simply want to learn the must knows. Okay? And you can complete these. There are 75 high yield topics and lectures and you can get through them in about 12 hours okay, for a rapid review learning option. Now the total series is over 150 videos and is about 30 hours in duration. Now, while the majority of these topics already include detailed notes, you may also want to take your own notes, okay, as you watch the lectures. So don't be afraid to get in there and mark up your book. You can also add notes from other topics or other resources that may have, um, you know, things that we haven't included. And those of you that get the pocket version, so there's the bigger version that you can see here on the screen in the upper right, or there's a pocket version that you may want to carry in your white coat, you can use that as a reference guide in, your, in the clinical setting. In fact, I still actually do that myself, okay? Uh, so that's really all I had for you. I suggest you click on the link if you haven't yet to get a sample of the book and see what it contains, okay, all the images, how it's very, you know, the colored images throughout. Uh, I think that's something that a lot of people have been, you know, saying is just the quality of images that we include, all right? There's also that lecture on atrial fibrillation. So at the very least, you'll get a free lecture on atrial fibrillation, learn the mechanisms, pathophysiology, Ashman phenomenon, and so forth, okay? And you'll get an idea of the very detail this course provides that no other course will, okay? No one goes into understanding what, why we see what we see on the ECG, and that's something I truly want you to do. I don't want you to be memorizing certain things. Obviously things, you know, you get this pattern recognition, but really understanding the pathophysiology and the things that we see on the ECG are very important, okay?
So you can trust me with this, all right? I've read almost all the EKG books out there, I can at least those that I can get my hands on, so if you have any others, send them my way. Some are good, many are introductory books, won't even touch on like say AVNRT, AVRT, LGL syndrome, Welland syndrome, the winter sign, how to actually tell what are true significant ischemic ST segment changes, how they vary in sex and age, and so forth. And then actually, how do you localize a lesion, an occlusion to a certain specific artery? Okay, things that, you know, more interventional cardiologists, my father that are kind of thinking before they intervene on an artery, uh, where they're gonna go. Okay, and that's actually included here. You have that all here. And that's not even to mention the congenital heart disease. Okay, so I can go on and all, this is all here in, these, uh, in this course, and you, you really will not find anything like this out there. Okay, so you can get this course. It's a fully colored, about 200 pages, over 150 lectures, as I mentioned, over 25 hours of video. And yes, you get calipers. You can see those in the upper right because what's an EKG Pro without those calipers, okay? So this book was uh, accepted by multiple publishers. I've tried to work with many. Unfortunately, the vision that we saw was not the same, okay? I really wanted to make something that was affordable to my users. Um, I know what it's like being a resident. I know what it's like being a student, and you know the, the prices were just too much. Uh, so I wanted to provide something that was affordable. So you know this is really something that I want you to have because this is something I wish I had when I was struggling through learning all those and reading through these books. Okay, So no longer waste your time with some of those silly introductory books. And I only say silly not because they're bad, but just that they're not good enough to provide really good clinical care for our patients. Now, I truly believe that this course represents ECG education at its best. If you take your time to engage it to its fullest, you will be richly rewarded. Thank you so much for trusting me with your ECG learning needs. I wish you the best in your future career, and thank you for your support, because it's only with you and your support that all of this is possible. And thank you very much. And so you can see some of here, Dr. Noseworthy, uh, a colleague, friend, and mentor here at Mayo Clinic, kind of uh, helping and supporting our product. We actually have quite a a few of these that we're going to put in our ECG labs uh, for reference and during interpretation. And Dr. May, one of our critical care cardiology fellows, now cardiologist, board certified. So you can see what they say. And, um, you know, really grateful for all of your support and uh, my little daughter there in the right corner, kind of getting a first view. All right, beating you to it. So thank you so much for your support. I really hope you enjoy this and I look forward to your feedback so we can improve this and really help to deliver better patient care. Thank you and I wish you only the best.